Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that I find around the world of Transformers. I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. Got about 11 things to go through with you first thing today then. And we're going to start off with some sightings. Now this isn't as bad or as many as normal. However, this does only apply to people who live in Canada or who order their products from Canada. So I'm not going to read it all out i'm going to show that to the screen there and then what i suggest that you do is if you pause that then you can have a read through of it yourselves as i say because it is only relevant for people who live in canada right moving on rise of the beast posters so via the trends international amazon store there's some new there's a few actually i'm going to show you them all on here rise of the beast posters that you can now order so there's a few different ones there's a few different sizes i'm going to show you them all on here i took this information from tfw 2005 and again apologies for the reflection you can see there i suppose this is going to be one of the main posters you've got optimus bumblebee Cheetor and Primal in the background. There's a shot of what it would look like on your wall. I don't know why they do that, it just makes me laugh. There's the actual dimensions. So this is one of the smaller ones, to be honest, you can see. Um, and then when we get to some of the other ones in a minute, they are much, much bigger. So there, of course, we've got the Maximals. And there, of course, that's the same size, that's small. I didn't bother taking a screenshot of all of them um, with them on the wall for obvious reasons. <laughs> there is a brilliant one of Scourge and Optimus Prime. I did with that because it's bigger. <laughs> and there uh, you can see, so nearly two foot width and nearly, oh, is that 37? 34, nearly three foot in length. So um, that's why we took a picture of that on the wall. Then we've got Optimus Prime just by himself. Again, same sort of dimensions with that. Then we've got Primal, that's pretty cool to be fair. And again, that's pretty much the same dimensions as well. Okay, moving on to some actual product images now. This is something that I previewed on the Wednesday. So this is YOLO Parks. This is from their Facebook page. Um, if you remember, I showed a Optimus Primal, Bumblebee and Optimus Prime himself, which is their pre-painted 20 centimeter tall model kits. Um, and it was just actually images of the three together. This is images direct from their Facebook page. So there are the three model kits looking spectacular. There is the actual packaging for Bumblebee. And indeed, there are the pieces to him. So you can see you build these up by yourself. They're already pre-painted. They're highly detailed, highly articulate. And if you like collecting models, then they're definitely worth having a nose at. Right, moving on to something that I have got pre-ordered, I have to confess, because I just love the whole concept of it. This is some in-hand images, not mine, of the new Toxitron figure that we, as I say, we are expecting imminently. So that is a great redeco of Laser Optimus Prime. Super use of the color scheme on there. Uh, of course, same accessories, just again, different color schemes. Really excited for this. I really like the mold. I really think the cab is fantastic. I do agree that most people probably say that the trailer is a bit weak. I completely agree with that, but I do love the cab and I do really, really like the color set, the color choice, obviously, and the colors on Toxitron. I think it looks fantastic. And yes, I can't wait to get mine that has been pre-ordered. Right, I found this on T Formers, which it might be of use to some people because I, I understand at the moment that lots of people in the US are still really struggling to get hold of a Cosmos. And in, in the UK, even though we had an abundance of them, they have all dried out. Well, Takara Tomy are now gonna be releasing them themselves. So I don't know how much it's gonna cost import or postage, but if you head to Takara Tomy's website, they are reissuing it or releasing it direct uh, in Japan, as you can see there, this is the actual article from T-Formers. I've just got a couple of the images there. There's loads of images on the website, but more importantly for you guys, as I say, there he is. So it's exactly the same packaging with the Japanese writing on it and the fact that he's TLEX06. The back again is the same, but with the Japanese on it. And of course, there's gonna be some Japanese in the instructions, but it's worthwhile if you missed out and if you don't wanna pay the horrendous scalper prices on eBay to check out Takara Tomy's website and just see how much it's gonna cost you to get it shipped, because I'm sure it's still gonna be cheaper, to be honest. Right, this is something that we've probably already seen, but this is just highlighting them. Um, by themselves. So this is the official maximal icon images for Transformers Rise of the Beast. So obviously the toys are everywhere right now. So you've probably seen these, uh, but never really given much, you know, subconsciously or not really given much attention. But here are the actual, as I say, um, icons. So there is of course, uh, Air Razor. You can make that out from that one there. 
there is Cheetor. Again, you can make it out. These look really cool though. So I expect to see posters. I expect to see coins, pin badges and everything of these. There of course is Primal and indeed Rhinox, but it's nice to see them um, highlighted, I suppose, by themselves. So I just wanted to share that with you as well. Right, moving on to some third party stuff. I know we've seen loads of Brawl. Mine's in the post, can't wait to get him in hand. But this clever person has managed to integrate all the parts with him and just again, make him look even better. So this is integrating and using the weapons and accessories that come with him for the alternate modes. You can see they've mounted the cannons over the shoulders, which looks good. And then this is again, even more ingenious. This is why I wanted to share it with you. There is the foot that comes with him. They've managed to mount that on the back as well. Looks like a bit of a shield. Um, and again, just wanted to share it with you because it just shows you how versatile these figures actually are. Okay, sticking with third, no it's not, <laughs> I keep getting mixed up. These are some actual images now. So obviously in Japan, again, they're reissuing mainly the Beast Wars figures that came, well in fact they are, all the Beast Wars figures that came out as part of Kingdom. Uh, but what they're doing is they're giving them a nice spruced up new deco and they're releasing them as versus packs. So we've obviously seen Optimus Primal and Beast Wars Megatron. We've seen Rhinox and Scorponok was the last one. This is the latest one. This is, of course, Waspinator and Cheetor. And as you can see, uh, they've got a nice new premium deco on them. And to be honest, this is exactly what Takara did all the time from day dot. They always added their own sort of special, um, either metallic looking or just extra paint decals, which I think just separates them. They did actually do a completely separate toy line last year called Premium Finish which is what I think that they've always done anyhow. They've always had a slightly different look to themselves and just again made them that little bit more premium. But you can order these in the Versus gift sets. Um, and again, it's a great chance for people uh, like myself who missed out on a few of the actual molds um, like Scorponok. So I might have to get the Rhinox one, who knows? Okay, now we are back to third party. This is new, this is from, well, this is Dr. Wu Images. This is gonna be their mini bulkhead. This is a concept image. Um, and again, I actually took this from T-Formers though, rather than Dr. Wu's Weibo page. There is a concept image of their gonna be version of Bulkhead. I love how the fact that he's still got his mace, uh, but the alternate mode is looking um, rather different to be honest. But again, these are only concept images. The article is there on T-Formers. I think he looks great. And as I say, I've, had, I've got the little energy dragon, which is their take on Trypticon. And that's a brilliant, brilliant little figure to be honest. Right, moving on. This is something that's pretty special to be fair. Um, this is based on a figure that's really quite sought after and incredibly rare. So this is um, the new world premiere for the BWM08P Black Widow. Now this is based on the Botcon 2001 RC edition. So as I say, there's an image in a minute of the original figure, but this, as I say, this is from Transart Toys. It's a new figure that I can show you how to reorder in a second. Um, and this is from Mang Motion via T Formers. Mang Motion does amazing videos. So here's some screenshots of the video from there. So there's the alternate mode. Yes, it's a redeco, of course, of a figure that you've seen before, but the detail and the paintwork on this is spectacular. She just looks amazing. Really, really good use of the colors on here. And as I say, what I think is even cooler is that she's based on what is obviously a really rare figure because the Botcon figures, here's some size comparisons for you, are rare because they were only made in limited, limited quantities. So that's why we've got the color scheme. See there she is, um, just with a little bit more armor on her. Uh, so she's obviously gonna come with lots of accessories. There's the original Botcon figure. There's the actual cartoon or animated images of it. And there's the actual figure. So looking stunning. Check out Mang Motion's actual video if you want to as well, or head to T-Formers just to see these images or indeed the video on them. That's Masterpiece RC if I'm not Right. Uh, if I'm wrong, please correct me. I'm sure it is. Um, and there again is the original figures. Um, can't remember what Windblade that is, but again, she looks so, so good. And as I've just said, and I'll reiterate again, what is cool about this is it's based on a rare Botcon figure. So it's not a mainline figure, and it's really cool they've gone with something like that. I really like the idea they've done with that. If you like her and you want to get it, she's also already available for order on ShowZ website. This is their pre-order page. There indeed is Swindle. There's some of the Magic Square figures. There's the rest of 
Uh, the Combaticon's going to be released by Magic Square. They've got the new Fans Toys on pre-orders. And there, of course, is Brawl. There's two different types of Brawl, Silver Foot and Normal Foot. And indeed, if you would be so kind, if you're going to order anything from there to use my Toys R Us code in the supporter reviewer, I would greatly appreciate it. So with regards to reviews over the weekend, as I say, do New Age David is done. He is ready for later on. Um, I'm going to try and get some transformation videos done at the moment. Apologies for them falling behind. They're just taking a bit too long. And things like New Age David, Masterpiece Skyfire, I just can't fit them all on screen to do the transformation. But I'll do my best to get some of them done. Definitely going to do some Beast Wars retro figures because I picked them up super cheap. Um, and indeed, I've got Studio Series Bumblebee movie, Voyager Optimus Prime, still to do, that's been on the back burner for ages. Still can't do Freezer until somebody, if they don't mind, just either screenshots me his instructions, because I can't find mine. <laughs> and although he's a core class figure, he's too damn tricky to work out exactly how to put him in each mode. So anybody who's got them, please send me them. There's a little blooper at the end of this as well. And again, huge thanks everybody for all the support. Really appreciate it. And if unless anything, drastic happens over the weekend you won't have to put up with me again until next wednesday but thank you very much for watching guys um, and i'll see you all soon take care hello everybody this is toys r us and welcome to another edition of transformer facts friday this is the second weekly roundup show that i like to do on this channel which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly i can't talk <laughs>